Hello, Eradia Sunjuin Kamo. Yes, sir. We now invite the Ascension Youth Choir to give us a musical interlude. Ascension Youth Choir.
Ascension Youth Choir. Please let's give them another big round of applause. Thank you very much. Deputy Chairperson, say, ladies and gentlemen, as you've heard, we are here for a public lecture on the topic, the church as an agent for consolidating democracy, economic transformation, and social equity in Ghana, prospects and challenges. I have the singular honor to briefly introduce the guest speaker for today. The guest speaker is a minister of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana since 1991. He holds a Doctor of Philosophy degree in African Christianity. He has former Presbytery Youth Coordinator in the then Equiapim Water Presbytery headquarters at Ekrupon Equiapim. He went on to serve as the General Youth Secretary of the Church at the National Head Office in Accra. He also one time served as the National Secretary of the National Ministers' Conference of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana. He is a former chairperson of the Asante Presbytery of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, a presbytery that is also celebrating 100 years this year. He is a lecturer and the former head of department at the Department of Religious Studies at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumasi. He is also an adjunct lecturer at the Trinity Theological Seminary, Legon, and the Pentecost University, Accra. He is a former visiting scholar at the Stellenbosch University, South Africa. He is a former general secretary of the Christian Council of Ghana, and currently the chief executive officer of the Alliance for Christian Advocacy, Africa. As a minister of the gospel, he has considerable experience in pastoral and ministerial work, higher education, international media relations, interfaith and ecumenical relations, advocacy, outreach services delivery, and many more. He also has vast experience in management, administration, leadership, peace, conflict management, religion, Christian theology, public speaking, university teaching and research management, as well as boardroom experience. We are proud to say that he is a proud son of the privately coming from Sushen in the New Jaben area. We have with us this morning to deliver this lecture, the Reverend Dr. Kwabena Upuni Frimpong. With a round of applause, let's welcome Reverend Dr. Upuni Frimpong to the podium, sir. Papa, Papa Chairman, and let me also acknowledge Nananum and Mr. Robert Edumante, a former Executive Committee member of the Christian Council of Ghana. I come to you this morning in humility as I accept to deliver the lecture. I'm excited to be here for so many reasons. Among others, what the chairperson said, I'm a proud son of this presbytery. By my ministry also started, as mentioned, 1991 at a in this presbytery. And I had the opportunity to serve as the last youth coordinator of the then Equapim Volta Presbytery. And I'm happy that today my eyes are seeing the wondrous things of God to be part of this centenary anniversary. Papa, I'm so grateful for the invitation. For some good reason, I may explain some aspect of the lecture in the Akan language for some people who may have language challenges. At least I have seen Peace FM people here for the sake of Peace FM, I may say few things in Chi for that special group of people. The subject for us as we celebrate a uh, hundred years, among other things, one is the church as 
an agent for consolidating democracy, economic transformation, and social equity in Ghana, prospects and challenges. No, Jume Die, Asu Die, Sir, Yepese, Kebima, Mi Kebiti, Tim, Wo, Ome, Yimu, Na, Yen, Sir, Nko, Yechi, Nko, Nche, Swo, Emu, Asafunu, Jume Die, Ewo, Ni, Pabla, Bomu, Nko, Swo, En, Sisa, Den, Nko, Swo, Ba, Ni, Pa, Abra, Bomu, Asafunu, Jume Die, Ewo, Omanya yenye edidija ne bi wo sosoro na ebi wo fam asie na obi nfa obi ho a asafo no dwumade ene se na mpo nyina so ba na asafo no wo a odi di se dwumade ye a e wo kebi ma men ka bi ene ni pabra bo mun ko ene mun ko so nkanyan ene abusia oman a Yen yen si si e mebi hon to mo e bi mo ye ye pa ne bi mo ye hiya fo e bi kosku a ke si e bi nye bi nko di e na asafunu jina so e di ye sa e jumano asafunu jina so na huo ding e hene wo na sa asafunu po e wo jina so ne a huo ding a e di e na e ye a kwensi di e sa asafunu di sa e jume di a e wo ke bi ma min ke bi a E jina ho e nyini na ensa na chi abrabo mu nkwa ni mu nkoso na oman a edidi enya ebinu mu a because there no any them so this is what i will be doing in terms of outline i want to touch on the issues and i'll touch on christian public theology christian public witness in ghana and then the United Nations has come out with what is called Sustainable Development Goals. I'll touch on the uh, Sustainable Development Goals in Ghana. What I consider to be challenges of sustainable development, uh, democracy, economic transformation, and social inequalities. Now here I may pull some examples from the Africa continent because of some studies and work that we are doing currently and then we touch on the prospect challenges and i may make some proposal as conclusion steps and strategies as we move into the future now the issues why is this subject so so important if there's one thing that at the moment ghana we don't bet we don't go to IMF, we don't go to World Bank, we don't ask any nation to help us. It's a matter of religion, it's Christianity. We have more churches, we have more pastors, we have more church buildings. We have huge Christian numbers. Now the question is, how does that translate into national transformation? How can the huge numbers in our churches have impact in our national Life. Christosum of Buyan Srahe will be ho. Nankaden a beboyan, Sir Christosum, a yan of Pavian, you may read your su TV, a beboya, sir, a fair, a sorry ninino, a dinini bin so, a baba or may yabrabum, Sikasemu, and Kenya. How do we help members in our churches to identify their roles? In we don't only need good Christians. But we also need active citizens. So, what is the role of the church in making sure ordinary people who are sitting in our pews are not becoming born again, well, you know, educated Christian discipleship, but they can go out into the market, in the law court, in other sectors, and equally be uh, uh, good citizens? What is uh, the good roles that church members? can go out there. Uh, how should church members bring their faith and spirituality into matters of governance, into public life? That there's not a disconnection between the cathedral and the market. Say, 
Senior Christosum a boo a yem may me. Sa Christosum a boono. Ye bet me the aqua bonting, a jasso, ye beco a man you say, Mubebe be a war. Christos a for my muni muhu a tea. Bear then a bet to me, ISA deno. How do we build and sustain the capacity of Christian leaders in governance? We know we have good pastors who can preach and pray, deliverance, healing, and all that. But beyond preaching, beyond prayer, beyond healing, deliverance, how do we build the capacity of our church leaders so that when it comes to matter of governance, when it comes to COVID, when it comes to poverty, they will not be found wanting. They will equally be as helpful as they find themselves in the pulpit. Wa preachi we are Kenya m semi we are bomb pie we are to two adamoni we are or he has some swamp to me I can be no I can be a boy in crassin sem and so I did it a gum and then I saw for to me a ye a boy and then what difference should Christians bring into governance? Say it to Omaya uh or man penny dada for fro uh speaker of parliament uh we'll call judiciary teacher for minister of health christopher what does it mean bible say any we are saying train anti christo ni your man penia na ye den christo ni a speaker of parliament na a ye den sa se mi ye pese ye bua but let me start from the beginning so let's go to the beginning for the beginning we are talking about the role of the church now what gives us that reason what gives us that plan? DNT na mabri bi ba sorry ni trimu se ye ye wo bibia ye betumi aye aboa kebi ma men kebi aboa oman isikasem aboa oman ya yam ni yi ebi nu wo suru di dije bi bi hu to won ebi hu en to won so let's start from what i call christian public theology that is where the foundations will come from chair Religion plays a very considerable influence in African life and thought system. Religious values and views have remained key reference point of reflections and decision making at both private and public level. Some countries, you keep your faith as private. But in this country, we, we pray in public at boardroom, high profile boardroom. We, bring, we pray in our boxes. We pray everywhere in this country. And it is allowed you can't do that in some country but in african society in our country we can bring faith into public sphere and the phenomenon if it, this is true if we can bring religion into public life then the phenomenon provides africa christianity a significant advantage of presenting the application of biblical principles and lessons of the word of god for political economic social cultural and general public life if it is true that religion has space in public life in ghana then we must equally take advantage and bring faith perspectives into matter of politics economics and other uh, social concern the christian faith in its nature speaks to all dimensions of human life the gospel does so because God is interested in all facets of human humanity. And the church subsequently must show interest in matters of the common good and social transformation. In Yanum, Christopher said, in fact, I'm on your cool for be on so on my journey. I saw it. Mudi, Bible was sem. Namunia, I'm on your sem. Am I yen? Uh, Omo Casasa, a yenu cray. There are some Christians who feel very uncomfortable when they are church leaders, general assembly, uh, presiding methodist, uh, method presiding bishop methodist, Catholic bishop conference, you know, make public statements on matters of politics they feel so for why are you not focusing on the ecclesia spiritual things you know and there are some politicians who want the church to believe that keep your bible and keep the constitution to us 
that what we are saying here is the Christian God is interested in every facet of our lives. Is active participant is not only interested, but God is an active participant in every aspect of humanity. And therefore, the church must equally show interest and concern. Christian ministry is expected to be holistic. That is what I've said so far. Holistic ministry means that you touch the heart, the heart, and the hand. You touch agriculture, you touch engineering, you touch every aspect of life. A holistic approach in Christian ministry is considered to lead to the holistic development of the nation for the common good and the glory of God. See, I have a see about heaven. And to heaven, I have a question And so, heaven, no, you have a question about the Presbyterian, I have a question Church leaders subsequently bring their faith perspectives to matters of public concern as a ministerial mandate to the pilgrimage with the people. So, the church must join with the people. A relevant church must be where the people are. Pilgrimage with the people. Faith in public life has been noticed throughout church history. What I'm saying is nothing new. But the concept public theology or public church was however introduced into the by a theologian, American theologian called Marty Martin in 1970s. And for him public theology as any of the applied theologies, like pastoral theology, practical theology, homiletics, and all that. Public theology is the responses that the question, the responses to the questions about the public role of the church. What is the public role of the church? So when we talk about public theology, simply put, we are answering the question, is the public role of the church? The role of religion in general should be one that gives hope. Every religion, the representative of the chief imam, Islam, Buddhism, every religion must give hope. And churches equally must give hope. Christian hope, however, must be beneficial to both people in the church as well as those who are outside the church who may be considered to be the public church. By any that swear what Christ or Sumuno, and yet, 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 what a sword them on Uncle. Yes, we say, Muni, we are saying, Muni, we are saying, 
nti kriso sumu no yenye ni da so no ni edi kan ye nipa e wa so dem ha na kro no aye wo mu no ko fo e kro mu ha e kro pon asori no mu no e se se asori no e ye ni da so e ma kro no e se kro mu fo no nya ni da so e wo asori no mu papa bi o ho ye frano olaf fight fight was the general secretary of the world council of churches from 2010 to 2020 and i happened to work in period that i serve as general secretary of christian council now he has argued that if it is not a hope for all if christian hope is not hope for all it is not a real hope and it is not a christian hope this is the direction he gave to the Christian uh, World, Christ, World Council of Churches or the World Christian Body that a necessary condition for hope is that it expresses itself in love for others, whoever and wherever they are. If it is not hope for all, it is not hope at all. Se asori awa senshi se ni amu yei asafomanu kwa ne buwa wun na kumu hafobie nye ni daswa se prez vya asori wa hei obuwa beba ha school beba ha apomudin beba ha eni kan e beba ha asunujie beba nananu mo eni ni entem kro no be kofam se oman no nya asori mo ni daso a general secretary work is to say sadia na e wo ho no enye asori eni daso say eni daso a mu a mo wa asori na se mu nya mu eni daso na wo mu a eni asori no nso as I say, we need to be any that so. So some people outside the church must have hope because of the presence of the church in the community. Please go home with this, and the church in this country must take note. If it is not for all, it is not hope at all. Whether it's a charismatic church, whether you are a pastor, you drive the best car in town, your wife is the best dressed woman, whatever it is, your cathedral is the biggest, whatever. If the church does not give hope to all, both members and non-members, it is not Christian hope. And I consider that to be very important. If it's not hope for all, it is not hope at all. So churches got themselves involved. And for those who are asking, why are we talking about the church as agent? Church got ourselves involved in the public uh, affairs, matters of public affairs of the nation just to offer hope. Why are we talking about the church agent in matters of consolidating democracy to bring hope? Economic transformation to bring hope. Why are you talking about social equity to bring hope? So with this, now we can say that faith in public life must, however, be directed by the Christian faith, Christian doctrines, and the Christian witness. There is the tendency to reduce the Christian perspectives on public concern by national and global public policy goals. No, you can't reduce the church to social sciences, social theories. We stay focused on theology. Christian faith in the public space must remain confident and trust in God. The hope, Ms. Apache, we bring is the hope that is rooted in God. Not because we are so resourced, we are so whatever, but bring people to a faith in God in the content of Christian doctrine in the teaching of Christian traditions, in a commitment to serve and share, in embodying a community of faith and practice, in common witness, in words, deeds. These are the principles that we must always keep as we get involved. You don't turn the church to civil society group. We are not. The church is a body of Christ, a spiritual body. So as we go to the public sphere, you maintain certain principles that you will not end up reducing the church to any kind of civil society group. Mr. Chair, now I want to touch on how what I have said so far uh, has been done over the years in this country, thinking that now we are on one level, why the church to function as an agent?
in such matters. Ebusia for se beto sabre e o ha na won te masia ni ame kan ni se Christo som papa biara no ni da so ba wa wo kwa so ma wani da so na konfo kremoni ohieni mobo mobo ni won yo bia no ye ye yesu no ese se se yesu ni ye odi eni da so e ma safo no se asori ko ye Yan kun kun kun, ye yan ye guya saw them, na ye ye ya de na ye mfa ni own ya kwa nko school apo mudin or the kwa so accident chin fire hua. Papa bi am so ye work council of churches, general secretary, or sen ya mo ye no nye kris or sum papa a sorry ye relevant no, and ye bi na mo mo ye wum krumu hono. Ti krobia sorry wum nye presbin ko I C G C Baptist Catholic. Uh, Anglican, I'm sorry, be a organa hano. Ye two fu set, I saw in a man in home and yaha. Yen yaya suffer my way, Juma. I wonder any ya suffer monon so. Yen yen ye be my womo and ya any that swore. Ewa a suffer no more. Ness is our same way we are can. Men you will be set. A suffer with a monster some kind of babble. No munya jomasem. Munya lawyer for no monka constitution asem. Munya politicians, no. Ye jaw or more. Eye ye, if we saw Urana was Sumayano, or Sumaya saw them one, or Sumaya Bontain, so you shrank any. You did a sabre, Yayan, and what you say, so what you say there. Any and fear bebra, Presby Church, a cahono, near ya ya was a TBA mono, and a me person may. Now remember, Presby Church will celebrate 200 years. Uh, do we have the regional minister in the room? And let's respect him for who he is. We have the regional minister in the house. Mumu yen sorry kakra wai. Ye ure yi waya adye pa. Bibi kosu we krop. Miye minye bianka meko. President waga. Kropon. Papa ye fye kropon ena eba. Ye ure edawasi. Nyamin shra. Pacho trans. Endye muma yen transi. Ye ke siye bi we kropon wa mampeni ewo ho. Ne said reji ino. Ure ano okobi. O to me, Colonel Tumricafio, a bar, just any a sombo, a man. Libra, Miss Ecasa, and Che. Nanya Macan is say, Christosum Papa Biadian da soba. Na Christosum Adeni da so basa for Mancuemu. Nem Fenny da so ma o be a only a ceremony, and yet Christosum Papa. Say a persecris or some near papa. Omo a buyer sorin, and so many a ceremony da so. But Omo. Womu omu tia bonte kwa omu ya petition omu kwa busumsu omu ni nara ese omu nyia asurimoni daso na yeye sa amanyofoni yemeji anye ye di me nyio bise mungai babo na mufa constitution ni maye na mu demu ni mushi ye ni mushi sana sapa na wasu eno osi ya pwa sorry ya tuamu ewa parliament house yes pwa sorry ya ya tuamu wajubini house enti ni yana ya tuamu no asembi amu kana babo si ya yenkebi amen. Now let's come. Chris, but remember, it is the Equapim Presbytery that is 100 years, but not the Presbyterian Church of Ghana. I hope you know the difference. We are about uh, 94 years now, in six years, this church will be 90, no, 100 and. So in, in the next six or so years, PCG will be 200 years. So, Mama and Kan Semini, a year presbytery no, na a din fear or ha. Na ya sorry, dear. A sorry a di can buy, and sorry a di can buy ya. En wu, na atwa su sa, en wu da. Kaka krebi na yen fear me, no, no. Enu di again ye demufia, a ye presbyterian, a sorry no. Enti, a sorry ni yin an huwa semini, ye kan fear he no. Na, e kwa pim presbytery, presbytery. And I can fear or her. So, Christian public witness. And let me go back to Bible. Christian public witness as a mission. When you are into Christian mission, there are two major missions. And the church and PCG, we have done all. Number one is what we call spiritual witness. Another word for it evangelism spiritual 
witness. And you can read that from Matthew 4, 23. And this is scripture. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom. Now, when you do spiritual witness, you are bringing people into relationship with God. You are bringing people into the kingdom. That is spiritual witness, mission. But that is not the end of Christian mission. There is another level of Christian mission. That is what we call either social witness or public witness. And it's the same scripture. Jesus, Acts chapter 10, verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. Who went about in good? Now here, Jesus was not only bringing people into the kingdom, but he went, he attended funeral. He attended weddings. Bring people to all manner of people. Healing people, not because they had believed or they will believe, but he was doing God because God was with him. So when the church come to the public space and do good to people, like we have every girls, it's not only Christians, everybody. Wesley girls has and Muslim girls preferred before. Now that is public witness. When we build up hospital, whether the people who go to the hospital will give their life to Christ or not, you are doing public witness. But when we go out and the crusades or campus ministries or all the others that you know, hoping that we will get people to become vision 1.5, you are doing spiritual witness. And Jesus did both spiritual witness in Public witness. Aha, ye nyam se bema na ye nene namono. Se waka matu a se mpa. Bambu se no ko shia de mu se. No ko ke nyam se mse. Mu nyi nyam ini. Mu sakra mwa jing. Mu nyi nyam entem enye kama. Na uwi anu wa tiye si jom e yia se. Obi yuko si ene ba. No de nene sato no. So nu e nyane no. Wedding. Obi ane wedding. E ni mguwa si aba. No ko wedding. Mu se yesu no ko wedding. Wedding e nyane dia. Omo oma o nusu. And so almost a cry, oh man, a cry, Bible and can. He, yes, you know, on in them, or yeah, papa, at a set Presbyterian for a year school where we girls, Christo Nibako, Cremo Nibako, Bosom Niba, Eko, Obi Abako, Wesley girls, a year Methodist for there, Cremo Ni, a year girls prefect. I won't cast it now, we are Methodist Ni, I won't him, won't him, won't him, a baby jump to Debbie. Say, yes, you know. Oh yeah, Papa. And that must be the paradigm. Jesus' advocacy in mission is or must be the paradigm. Now here, Mr. Chairman, I want to touch on the stories of Christian Council of Ghana and the Presbyterian Church of Ghana. I'm happy Mr. Edumante is uh, uh, here with me, especially as I reflect on the story, brief story of the Christian Council of Ghana. Ghana Hano, a community bodies, the said Christian Council, Cali Bishop Conference, Ghana Pentecostal, public witness, no, very mark, ain't a community bodies, no, the same fat Christian Council. Na and sorry, no, so me fat, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Christian Council of Ghana was. Established October 30th, 1929, by five churches PCG, Methodist, uh, EP, Evangelical, Presbyterian, AME, Zion, and Anglican. When they started, their primary goal was Christian unity. They wanted to come to a spirit of faith. And However, they directed their unity to three important areas. Education, social transformation, that is uh, uh, what we are talking about, public witness and the others, and Christian advocacy. So Christian council, yes, Christian unity, but the unity had a focus and it still has a focus. We do public education, 
we go all out. And for social transformation, they provide infrastructure, schools, health. So we have a body we call Christian Health Association of Ghana. And check. And it controls almost about 40% of all health facilities in Ghana. Chad controls about 40% of all health facilities. So social transformation, you provide the infrastructure. You build the schools. But you function as the voice for the unheard voices. Now let me tell you, please, don't describe anybody as voiceless. Nobody is voiceless. Uh, but even uh, those who we may consider to be dumb, whatever, they speak. The correct word must be unheard voices. Unheard. They speak. Here. Some of you, what my good friend is doing, you see, you don't understand. Nayate. One more year advocacy, no. A Christian, sorry, no, my head, you can't home. You know, I must say, the bachelor, the Koswa, and when you, Bebra or Mino, near about Dero Abwa, or more, or more, can be a yenteno, Nayama, Safo, no, ne, ate. Now, if you read through the, the public statement communique of Christian Council, the, 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 I run through. It's a work I have done and I understand that when it comes to matters of advocacy, Christian Council is not only the fourth republic. Now remember Christian Council was started 1929. So the council and its leaders were part of the struggle towards independence. And if you look at the pictures, you have Christian Council leaders all over the place. It seems I should just be here. Democracy and good governance, peaceful and credible general election. These topics, anytime you find statements coming from the Christian Council, expect the fact they are not different from what Presbyterian Church of Ghana would do. Cultural transformation and cultural ennoblement, quality education and education for all agriculture and food security fight against corruption christian council is always responding to pandemics hiv and aids recently COVID, and many more artisan training development of commerce and economic growth delivery of health and medical services social welfare of people all people and social addressing challenges of inequalities pick any of Christian Council of Ghana and these are the subjects that they will be addressing. Not from that, even if you go back to the uh, early beginnings. Now let me come back to PCG and public witness. You are Presbyterians, but something happened in the Presbyterian church that served as a turning point in our public witness. It took place in 1994 during the 65th Synod, then Synod at Sunyani. At Sunyani, Synod took a decision to issue communique or communique be sent to the head of state anytime Synod meet. This is to replace the traditional message of greetings to the head of state. Before 94, Synod will write greetings to the head of state. At Sunyani, we decided that we will stop that. We will issue a communique. And those of you who have been going to uh, General Assembly, you find screen like this, line by line, and Mr. Dumante will come and challenge, change this word, and others will keep, keep it, don't change it. In 1994, <laughs> we are together. We do that. At that's all we do. Ashna, if you read the decision as Sunyani, it's stated the rationale of the PCG was to partner the government. I'm quoting from the minister to partner the government in governance. 
This is our church. A communicate will make more impact than a mere message since a communicate will call government attention to burning issues that needed attention in the country. PCG took this decision and the rationale has been stated. And therefore, as I speak to you now, and I'm picking these figures from our moderator, he visited Asante Presbytery and his uh, address, uh, that's where these figures are coming from. As I speak to you now, as part of our public witness, he sees 2,000, in fact, over 2,000 basic schools, 33 senior high schools, four vocational schools, five colleges of education, five lay training centers, two fledged universities, seven agricultural stations, 57. Mr. Honorable, uh, I want to say that 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 57 health institutions, including four district hospitals, one primary hospital, one specialist hospital, four health training institutions, 21 health centers, 16 clinics. I thought you were going to pray. Clap for yourself for being a member of this church. This is a church. This is a relevant church. We don't need to go and tell everybody a year dress, a year dress, a chair, moon, you know, sorry, papa. Yet they are sorry, sick, a dear, need a saw, a ba. Near my make a canoe. Say, what shall ya sorry? Mua mo buy my manum. Rest be a son for us, and I a general. It's a coffee, man. A year, you might need a saw, ba. The name of Cassay, basic school, primary school, nebby, or hano. Ya sorry, I was some pim, you know. Ya were senior high school. Senior high school, Kwa, and the Asami and Sam, Momo had the Abu Habi break with a pen. Ya were vocational school, Kosia, the Pam, any other no. Ya sorry, one nine. Colleges of Education is a PTC, a go go. Ya was a num chebi, lay training center, ya were num university, a year accredited, ya were me a new acrophic crystal, and a presby university. A fan a bit musi back, come a country himself presby, ya see me, you know. Agricultural stations, yeah, one so health institution, uh, clinic, a uh, clinic, is I would do no one so ah, district hospital, they say, one final called district, district, no one, yeah, one and nine primary health care, and no, and no, yeah, one baku specialist, baku na training institution, a beer, yeah, cost, yeah, a google nurses training college, you know, yeah, one side, you know, ba. Health centers, 12 training year four, but health centers 21. Clinic 16. Chronica. Let me say, some who are sorry, we more. My wedding year is answer as sorry, no, and my young woman need a sore. Now, I'm when you want to say, you need a sore. I am sorry, papa. Oh, be sure, no, can I call press be soon, soon, ni more. I'm sorry, as soon, soon, woman, and only I'm sorry, I do need nipper home. I'm sorry, as soon, soon, more, or so from car, or so from toma, or so for shoe, or so for yet, and yes, or soon, soon, woman, and yes, soon, soon, papa. The church and the sustainable development goals in Ghana. Now, September 2015, United Nations issued a blueprint to achieve a better and more sustainable future for all people and the world by 2020. And the 17 goals, one is no poverty, zero hunger, good health and well-being, quality education, gender equality, clean water and sanitation, sanitation is there. Affordable and clean energy. Decent work. Decent, not only having work, but having decent work. And economic growth. Inclusive and infrastructure. Reduce inequality. The subject we are talking about is there. Sustainable communities. Responsible production and consumption. Climate action. Life below water, life on land, that is Galam say. Peace, justice, and strong institution, democracy. Mr. Chairman, the 17th one talks about partnership for the groups. 
Now, United Nations is asking government to enter into partnership with faith-based organizations. They are doing that with World Council of Churches and others. And I pray and hope that if God means business with sustainable development goals, we must pay attention in every sector, building partnership and respecting the partnerships. Now, let me pick the three areas and moving here i will be brief so just relax okay democracy and good governance remember talking about consolidating democracy or democratic consolidation and here i'll pull examples like i said from other africa countries let me explain why there's a christian organization called alliance for christian advocacy africa and I serve as their coordinator at the moment. We have people in Angola, DR Congo, Tanzania, Kenya, Liberia, Sierra Leone, and I run around all of them. I go around DR Congo and jump to Angola. So we, we compare notes. So when I'm about to tell you uh, information that I pick from other Africans, and that is why I don't want to put myself to this country. So most Africans at the moment accepted democracy as a stem of government. Many African countries. Constitutions have been enacted with the separation of powers among executive legislature, judiciary. There are various freedoms such as speech, press, movement, association, religion. Institutions of accountability have been spelled out with well-defined mandates and various security agencies. Electoral processes that define terms of office. Voting rights handing over of power to new political administrations are very clear in statutory uh, books by mr chairman mr kofian and a former general Sec or secretary general of united nation has made a very profound statement democracy is not just about one day every four or five years when elections are heard but a system of government that respects and that is the operational word that respects the separation of powers, fundamental human rights, uh, like the freedom of thought, religion, expression, association, and and the rule of law. Any regime, any that rise roughshod on these principles loses its democratic legitimacy, and that is where the consolidating issue is coming from. The issue you have raised. How do we consolidate democracy? It's coming from what Mr. Kofi Annan is saying. That if it happens, that even if at the initial we had election, but we don't respect, democracy will go back. And so I would dare say we need that does not work for some of the people, but democracy that works for all the people. A democracy that responds to bread and butter issue. And Professor Achu, Professor University of Ghana, is saying that if you want democracy to work, it's leadership. And uh, let me move a bit fast. For Achu, leadership is not only the politicians, but leadership refers not only to national leaders, but equally to leadership at sub-national level and in all sectors. Business people, if democracy will work, business must work. Business organization, they have a role to play. Trade unions, NGOs, professional association, and churches, faith-based organization. We must all be in the partnership as the sustainable is saying. Let me skip some of this. But let me come to challenges of democratic consolidation, economic transformation, and social inequalities in the Africa continent. Challenges of sustainable democracy now has something to do with how do we speak truth to power and leadership. How do we speak truth? And then you cannot cry. Try and penny for an hour down room, but if you are him for so, echo see a bam for media be being coyer. Yet then, now sorry, no, it's me can no crap. 
pa me se emfa nsuo nyina ye num e kire mpenefo na what i said may sound so simple but something we call democracy of dictatorship dictatorship of the majority democracy as dictatorship of the majority and this country must now guard against democracy as the dictatorship of the majority and i will explain there are some african countries that have all the issues but now listen go to equatorial guinea they have a leader who has served 36 years if you look at the constitution it's five five years but because he has his people majority in the parliament when it's time for him to leave then they they change the constitution and they give him another five years and then they give him another five years and and nobody can challenge that if you have majority i will always want to do this we call it dictatorship of the majority it's not only equatorial guinea go to angola even you know i visit there sometimes three times a year helping their leaders their leader who left eh? eduardo dos santos 36 years to their constitution he doesn't have that 36 years Fabia is still our, our own <laughs> president who will not even live in the whole country he's gone beyond 33 years uganda more than 30 years he's still around it is not in the constitution but they are doing it because they have the numbers Mugabe did 28 years. Chad, 25 years. Omar Bashir in Sudan, 22 years. Algeria, 22, uh, 20 years. Jame, uh, uh, stayed on 19 years. Kabila, I've been running a leadership workshop for uh, here at Kogu, and I brought We brought 21 of their heads of churches to Ghana to study what we do here. Kabila was around 18 years. And this they call democracy. That's the dictatorship of the majority. And it can happen to us. And to a recent hung parliament, at a point whether in this MPP, any bill that moved from the executive to the parliament, you could guarantee that it will be passed. Have you noticed that? It is the recent one that Yi Levy has suffered. And what is fueling that is what we call winner takes all. That's backed by legal provision. IEA put up a team under the chairmanship of Justice Amy Short to go around the whole country to put, I mean, put together the thoughts of Ghanaians on winner takes all. And I was a member of the team. We move all. And there are Ghanaians who believe strongly that portions of our current constitution part winner takes all and mr chairman mr. honorable kandapa has made a statement i'm not going to the merits of the statement but i just want to take it as a caution statement that statement could have come from anybody church leader ndc cpp it could have come from media so i'm um, hearing some say you should you should have consulted legal minds and all that i don't want to go there but let's take the statement as it is and take mr kandapa out if the interpretation of the law is tilted so much in our favor all the time people will start accusing the judiciary and will not have the confidence that they need honorable Kandapa. April 11. Now, Ghanaians and our leaders must be concerned about this. When people start having the impression that after all, when you go to court, you're buying a wasp. You're going Another threat of a democracy in Ghana 
2020, we put together the Alliance for Christian Advocacy, 100 pastors, and we were given accreditation to monitor the election in eight regions. Even during the registration around Bono area, a young man died. Registration. Munko chule mudinu kurahano. Kanachi biwi. Ya tu abani wye police report. Nipa mwoke. Adie hagan abani. Ya batu. Ha democracy. Krono. Krono. Krono no die. Minister katabasyon. MPP for bo krono. NDC for also bo krono. E kwa don kwa nwa 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 krono no bo. They all cheat. Seriously. All of you. The two leading. Give us clean election. Too much ma manipulation. But you are still my friend. I ask you to close your ears. Violence in our electoral system. Violence. We have a law to address vigilante. But 2020, we had unnecessary ethnocentrism. On fear. Where you wait? Where you wait? So, peace campaign, peace ambassadors. Dan Boche, your press, be me, former MPP general secretary. I see a drink at here, I ask for penny, press be me, and this general secretary, MPP general secretary, and this general secretary. Yeah, to about as I say, I am just saying, Presbyterian for me, you know. Of a stamp of a church of Pentecost elder. I don't know what you have any money to buy a die and now. I just can't understand this. What we are going through, ain't he ever to buy? We don't discuss issues, we are scared. Signing of peace accord. All the prayer meetings are ready. My asumujo, my asumujo, a dear one in my eye. All the public educations, and this must stop somewhere. The threat to peace must give way to education on issues. Bread after issues. There's something we call culture of silence. Now, if you read uh, uh, Paulo Freire, culture of silence doesn't mean people are not talking. People go through what they go through before they talk. Attack on voices of wisdom, national issues, food soldiers. Normally, leaders should be afraid of their people. But if it happens that the people are afraid of their leaders, you have a culture of silence. Economic challenges to transformation. Demanding transformation. I will not elaborate. Unemployment of our young people. High cost of living. High cost of doing business. Inflation. We have bankers in the room. Exchange rates, corruption in public service, challenge with honest labor, difficult to trust some people, even who feel tell us they are born again. Sound work ethics, poverty is there, migration of young people. Now, how come that what is illegal in Britain now has become legal in Rwanda? And that's what I'm saying. Britain said, Britain, one fact, and Papa Soma, we are illegal migrants, you know. They are called Rwanda. They are doing good. Man, they are doing good. Rwanda. Then our here, a illegal, a you are breaking. Any year, do I don't call Rwanda there. Some of our young people are, who want to go to Europe to be brought back to Rwanda, are now who are Mediterranean Sea. About time. Kwala na si omo kwa brochure no. Omo fa from San in Namibia. E puno no omo tuo mo go. E bo e you omo kuma kidney. Now I turn to Sanya, or more or she turns to Sanya about for a ten cities. They said they are jai. Ten cities, thirty-five. Go in, clean. Can a former antenna quabrutin a com social inequalities, the gaps between the rich and the poor, the urban and the rural community gaps. Quality of education, minority traditional communities. Let us be careful here. Some languages are dying. Senya language is dying. So she, some languages are dying. Even before you saw Ghana for everybody is proud about his or her language. 
let us pay attention to minority traditional communities and their uh, uh, languages. But Mr. Chairman, free SHS, I believe, is a game changer. I will say again and again that free SHS seriously respond to social the inequalities. And my prayer and hope that it will go beyond Nanado. It will go beyond MPP. That all others must know that if we want to close the gap, one surest way is to sustain free SHS. Let us limit the politicization. Now let me come to Prospect. I'll be out of this place very soon. Hmm? What do we have? Prospect number one, Christian public. We are software. So our own public theology the entry point. Then the history of churches in sociopolitical issues provider. Yet the anya de fu from my yen. Ye din fioha. Fioha ekano mu ye kwa ni mono. Mum my yang konto kwa. Chairman si epesi ye sku we koforidia. Mani sofu be an konto kwa. Use your own history to support this. That is PCG. Then there's public expectation on faith and public life. Oh, yes, and people. Now, so for no more, he, Professor Marte, or he, Professor Santa, or he, Christian Council, or he, Pendu Agana for Freyano. The church must know that there's a demand that we must respond to. Ben Pendu writes on my friend, now we're about so for Moncasa, yeah, boy, and I'm on Cambino, as I'm sorry, who's on your air Freyan. Then we have credibility and a niche. Christian Council has credibility, we have a niche. Catholic Bishop Conference. PCG, we have credibility. And if you have a chance, you have a chance. You have a chance. You have a chance. You have a You have a chance. You have a chance. You have a chance. You have Then the church has that price. You have a chance. 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 You have let us use our mobilization effort to respond to national issues, issues of economic transformation. Then we still have importance of communique. We have done that in 1994. Let us use that. Presbyteries must issue communique. Also, for we hear with presbytery conference address Eastern regional issues, address issues in the Kwapem Presbytery. And change a moderate Kasan San na would you be Bianca? Basabasabi walk a coswa for one or two. So, because the church has made a decision, let's continue. Unkebi my policy for Dampar and Moyadi. One Yahoo, your cranka, Moman and Mo, Wayadi, Papa Policy, Yamama Mo, Minim Salutu, Kamesalutu, but now it's better policy in Ghana. Near Yanomi and Kan, Munchama will be in your bonny answer. Ability. Availability of media. They say media or social media or how. Let us use that. And then we have interfaith and a communicable relation. team, Christian Council. Challenges I will only highlight. The Christian unity is so weak. A communicable relation is no. We need a Balance Christian spirituality. There are those who think spirituality stop with speaking in tongues, casting out demons. We need a better, bigger understanding of spirituality. Let us close the gap between huge Christian numbers and economic conditions of the people. Let us avoid partnership of convenience by politicians and politicians. Be up So before forward and for now we yenia or permano. We must enter into partnership with politics, government, political party, in government, outside government. But I say this to all the churches. Avoid partnership of convenience that you reduce the church to another agency of political party. The church is not. Challenges of capacity building. Discipleship materials. Don't pay much attention to public issues. Bible studies say, "Oh, sorry, mu, enyina, 
Why may not be a Christian or a politician? How do I become a Christian, a member of parliament, politician? We don't study these things in church. Somebody, our, our church life and nature, how to be effective civil servant in Ghana, we must steps and strategies into the future. As I conclude, I will request that all our public seminaries, department of religion study, religions, department, let us pay attention to public theology. I teach that at KNUST at postgraduate level. What I'm talking about, that's what I teach, master's PhD, and I wish you bring so many students from your presbytery to study public theology. That's what I go to South Africa also to do. Trinity Abetifi, let the curriculum respond to. We must develop capacity of Christian leaders, both lay and ordain for Christian public witness. Don't take it for granted. Let us form Christian advocacy clubs among young people and students to influence them for future leadership. Angola is doing this. It's very beautiful. Now they are thinking about governance 10, 20 years from now. And now they bring young people together and they teach them democratic principles. So beautiful. We don't do anything like this. Let's begin thinking about how Ghana should look like the next 15, 20 years and start building that Ghanaian mind that will get us there. Success of democratic consolidation, economic transformation, and social equity in Africa continent is a collective responsibility. Say, yeah, 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 the social transformation we are looking for. Economic trans media. Ghana for a year come at the home home. We're about four years. All banana car to we see. A bedroom broke or not. A year long cruise. Now for Fraba no bedding walk. All banana high than two bedroom. Obey we and we see a bro sign. One me and fire one. I'm about to book a guy. My house. Yeah, we quiet. My bit. Church members must be encouraged. To respond to the Christian advocacy ministry, let us pursue spirituality that brings people into relationship with God and our neighbor. Mume nipe unkonya mincheng, ba unipa unkoni ni ancheng. Yankwa hinfi yankwa sume na nanum. Yankwa baimu. Yankwa fumu unkosum. Yankwa jumu unkosum. Church reports must include Christian impact on community. Roman bishops, we see a turn on my head. As often come as far as ma, we pray to do say. Na brano na wote shono. E yusua sema te say. E jamu te say. E ma ko jamu mu nyabe bi jonso. Encourage regular research and publication. Sustain the issuance of communique as Christian hope and Christian voice for both members and non-members. Mr. Chairman, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think our uh, honorable speaker needs a standing ovation for this. Let's do it for him. Let's do it for him. And a big round of applause for that. A big one. A big one. A big one. A big one. Please, you may sit. Thank you so much, our scholar our pastor, and our clergyman. Thank you so much. At the right time, the vote of thanks will be moved. Ascension Youth Choir, after this wonderful presentation, give us a spot of music for it to sediment well.
Thank you very much, Ascension Youth Choir. Deputy Chairperson, say, with your permission, I do a few acknowledgments of some of our guests who have joined us in the course of the program. Like we all heard, we have with us the Honorable Regional Minister, Honorable Seth Echampon with us. Say, you are welcome this morning. We also have Nana Osei Ousu Ejari Akwedum Hini representing the New Jabin Traditional Council, Nana Hima Akwaba. We have with us Mr. Dominic Ejepon from the Ghana National Fire Service with us this morning. We have with us Mr. Godfrey Jean Ewuku, Regional Engineer of the Electricity Company of Ghana with us here this morning. We have Mr. Bless MFA Ameho from the Environmental Protection Agency. We also have Madam Jean Gorge from the Environmental Protection Agency. We have Mr. Samuel Pantisakwa from the Fire Service with us this morning. We have Mr. Ebenezer M. Yesu from the Abuabu Congregation. We have Mr. Seth Enim Sapon, Vice Principal of Kufuridria Technical Institute with us this morning. We have Mr. Kufi Eji Tuajira from the Ghana Police Service, the Divisional Commander with us this morning. Say so you are welcome. Beloved in the Lord, this event is a public lecture, and as a way of encouraging interaction, we've made provision for just some few questions. You may have one or two questions to ask. So for the sake of time, all on my right, if you have questions, we give a maximum of two. Then all on my left, if we have two. Then up here on the podium, if there are any questions. So let me see by hand those who may have a question to ask. Two, so I have one, two here, please come forward to the podium. So I have finished already one. Yes, please. So you introduce yourself by your name and the institution you are coming from. So my right, I have finished two. On my left, anyone with questions? To my left, anyone with questions? Okay, thank you very much for being gracious. Please up the podium, we'll come to you when we finish the doors down. Yes, sir, please go ahead. Please on the microphone. For the opportunity, I will also want to say my Please, your name, introduce yourself by your name and your Emmanuel Pamio to the District Minister of Amanukrum. Thank you. Yes. Papa, I was very glad when you mentioned values, necessary and objective, which we should consider so much in our church. But don't you think the church, especially the Presbyterian church, has departed from what Jesus prescribed? Hand over what you have to trusted persons and let them also hand it over to in that sequence. We, which is more akin and like the Episcopalism, we have now departed to the reform tradition, which is more also akin like um, the democracy. And so it gives the opportunity to manipulate. But if we stick to what God wants from us, don't you think that we would have more objective, necessary, universal values? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The second person. My name is Reverend Samuel Ofer with the Suhum Congregation of the PCG. Um, I want to thank our guest speaker for that insightful presentation. Um, a lot of the things that we said, especially experience from the African countries, and we are glad that we don't see them in Ghana, especially with presidents staying over for 20 and 19 years. 
but um, you, you touched on it, but I want to bring it back so that we delve deep into it. It's a challenge of overly being partisan. Um, some people were excited about the hung parliament, but we can say that even the hung parliament has been approached in a way of personal interest, where even issues that has to have national conversations are being approached in, uh, in partisan interest to the extent that it has, it has trickled into the community politics. Again, um, it is also affecting the advocacy of the church, where this is almost like a second question, where there is also the impression that when one party is in parliament, the church is strong in its advocacy. But when another party is in parliament, we see that the church is very comfortable, even when things are not going on so well. So what is the role and how can the church be seen as that neutral? We, we, we can never be neutral, but I mean to see the church in its okay. role of thank, helping the thank, goal for the, uh, that democracy. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So we are done here. Sir, you may respond to these two, then we come up to the podium. Now, I saw for Kwame Usu. I saw for Kwame Usu say, Send your guy so you need a tick kind pan into say, say, Yen fi kwam papa no yen chia chia. There's this assumption that any good pastor can be a good administrator. Any good preacher can manage an insurance company. There's this thinking that if a church set up and we get a preacher who know, or somebody who knows how to pray very good in prayer, we'll be able to. Now that assumption needs to be revisited. Ya do you say so so be to me preach or be ni mumpa ya bo to two demons, sir. What the bank man of who the insurance, who the trade union, a cooperative ademano, who the BBA man obey to my a room rebia to sa, a room rebia enter sa. When we say, yeah, sorry, na ya wo wo get the business akasi akasi be ni ni na egugu. Ya brepa book de numani adi say ya brepa. Isusu say church no ko area bia. As I said, we must build capacity of our people without assuming that because the so and so is a good pastor, a good preacher, a good, in fact, good Christians are supposed to be able to do certain things, but their capacities must be built. And sometimes, I feel we are very slow in this area. In fact, when you get closer to God Catholic Bishop Conference, they do that a lot. So, if they, they are talking about legal things, they have full-time lawyers and they don't interfere with their work and allow them. They, they employ certain people. Even if you are a pastor and you don't have those strength, they won't give that assignment to you. If you are suffering and they want to give that assignment to you, then they send you out and train you. I sometimes feel that we give assignment to people that we have not consciously built their capacities. They get in there and sometimes we get what we don't want. So I will not totally say we have deviated, but then I have also observed that in terms of building capacities for certain assignment, uh, sometimes we have a lot of uh, uh, assumption. Oh, so for when so I find you, but my Yamanunko a Greek. When so I find you, Yamanunko a brochure. Good, yet good to have you could draw a brochure and no assamba so no home to me. So let me leave it like that and draw attention to the need for capacity building. Now, this uh, hmm, overly partisanship, let us get this in mind. Our democracy. Touring. Some countries have done it 100, 200 years. How many years? So we still have a long way 
to go. The challenge of extreme partisanship has a lot to do with our media at the moment, Ghanaian media, and those owners of media, because now you have people who have specific political interests setting up media houses, using those media houses to pursue their political interests. And so sometimes you are not sure the editorial policy. People sitting there, as long as if it is uh, MPP or NDC, if it is NDC, as long as they are bashing MPP in a way, where you're comfort, wait, wait about Bonnie, you're stopping them. Then you get the other side. Now, partisanship and lack of objective editorial policy in Ghanaian media is what is fueling the over partisanship challenges uh, too much of almost anything. Because as someone what can't so gradually we are silencing voices of uh, wisdom in Ghana. Because depending on the media house of Epic Asamina Peace FM, I don't win. Ain't it almost for no affair? And if you find a say a crown for a moment or more, a bemono, one more crono, crono boy, one who be the Ephraim Kruma person, no cosa. No, Sanitria, Officer, Napa Conaba, and this is for no more. They don't win a crown for crown for scientific objective. There's no no argument. And when in Chabon one, I hear Chaboy and Hosa. And in Chabon, there, because National Media Commission, any owners of media houses, no, a benya in Komopia, a din to Boisieka Kra, a bebano, ya wakwencha, a honan to Kwanekasi, a fee, a ba. Me host program or GTV. What is next? And University Vice Chancellors, Council of State, traditional leaders, Sam Penifor, Ebi Wawakwa, and yes, we will name you because of the way we can acquire the answers we do at them, for we do at them, I mean, tell me, baby. I'm going to be at them, so soon, you know, MPP in Penifor, San Anado, they want to see what I said to you, President Mahama, they want to see what I said to you, now I'm going to go see you. I'm going to go see you. Now I'm going to go see you, 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 so let's leave the you know partisanship there. But as long as the media is fueling it, uh, we have a long way to go. But back to the church. I pray and hope that I have served as Christian Council General Secretary. The various ecumenical bodies and the churches should not give any uh, uh, a body impression that we have entered into partnership of convenience with any political party. Uh, the Christian Council I work with, that was not my impression. PCG, as I see, that is not what we do. Nehani said, and the topic now is Christian Council can. You can win this, so MPP, you have prepared your mini nickel, and this was San, a can, yes, and a MPP. Nemo, Omo opposition, not some cronwell can. No, my bema won't move me to a cause, I mean, so for why is that here? Obama, as some crono amuba party, mu na wakoka. So for as some we are so far some, we pesa we ye eh politics ah. We are so far tired and grow. I bring me any politics. I'm only a moment pipi. We are only this um chabo yesa. Enti ya na in sheda se, ya 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 jin se, ya kebi ya mubi. But at the crono amu wa opposition ya wakka, amu ba amu sema wamo ema wano. Omo ba bemu na wakana semkoro nombe chabo. Adiena wakana omo ba bemu na omo nudi si eni no. Omo fi a bemu a 
na wuti u baby kura enti asofo no ohi na monkasa asofo no ohi na nsa mitibia ma ye kum he na miti enti asofo wo gana ha na na professor mate wo ha en wo nkasa professor mate kasa amani a wehu enti minia uh same i would suggest that we must avoid giving that impression about ourselves having said that i also know that it's a political strategy when they are in opposition uh, uh they cry differently when they are in power the sound uh, uh, uh changes thank you hello hello sir we now come up hello sir Hello. Yes, sir. I, I introduce Mr. Dumante for a purpose because he is your lay rep, but oh, oh, former. Oh, you can come for this one. Oh, okay, because okay, fine. But not because he's former lay rep, but this public witness struggle some of the things i'm talking about i know that he has some insight maybe a short comment on this thank you very much papa i'm robert dumanti a brew calvary congregation papa i just want to make a comment and invite your views on the statement attributed to honorable kandaba let me first of all say that I don't know him. I've never met him in person. But I'm concerned that we should avoid creating the impression that when you and I go to court consistently, there must be equalization of victories in court. And that is because what I have been hearing is that people go to court and cases are consistently uh, against them. I believe that every case has a certain level of intrinsic value. Every case has certain merit. But if you and I go to court consistently, and I continuously go to court with unmeritorious cases, I will lose continuously. So we should avoid that public perception being turned into a strategy for certain litigants to create the impression that the judiciary is against them and that is why they are consistently losing cases. It will become a strategy for me to go to court consistently with unmeritorious cases for me to lose consistently and then tell everybody that, you see, the judiciary is against me. And that is part of the bastardization of the judiciary that is going on currently. And that is dangerous for our democracy. We need to be careful uh, about that. Yesterday, I heard a lawyer comment that two Supreme Court judges who dissented in a recent case were the ones who gave the right judgment. But the same two people joined the majority in another case of a 6-0 majority, and the same lawyer said they were wrong. Thank you very much. I welcome your views on that. Can I say, I do my Christian council, yeah, yeah, no one. I do maybe I see where and then I'm saying, and this is what I say, and people know. I'm a can be more me. And so, one Kahokra. I will repeat what I said earlier on. I don't intend discussing the merits, whether it is true, not true, right. That is not what I want to do. I've heard even high profile. MPP people saying he should have sought legal. That is, that is not what I want to do now. But I am, my thinking is, assuming Honorable Kandapa did not say this, 
but okuje to a black quadrant um at bishop na me calic bishop conference anybody let us listen to what is in there it doesn't mean we are there but let us take it as a caution statement so for me i will not want to even go whether honorable kandapa or but let us make sure that all state institutions sustain public confidence let us not do anything that weakens or threatens public confidence because democracy survives on public confidence in state institutions so i want to leave. may also come into this conversation knowing what you know and and then uh but me me also oh no i a lawyer me the me a lawyer name mom me a me can he say ma ye me mu ye nye bi bi a e be ye se me nye we inti na ye ma mi we sadi eno na me de me can ni a can he die uh ye nyama lawyer for any party for no mon ka oma se Please, the up here had two slots, so one has been used. May I know if someone else has a question up here? Okay, thank you. There is a gentleman there, so you have the final in-house question. A question came from online, so when you finish, I'll ask that one. Please go ahead. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. Um, I'm Pia Danko Osborne from the National Peace Council. My question is, uh, the church, the youth, and politics. What are we doing to bridge the gap between the youth and politics and violent extremism? Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. So, this program is running online. So, we have one question from Mr. Joe Banson. I know Mr. Joe Banson is in the Croupon Church. His question reads, I guess the church does not truly exhibit the courage and fairness of Christ. Is it a way of not yielding fully to the spirit of truth? Does the church lack something? This is his question. Thank you, sir. Now, the church youth politics. We have a history. CPP. Young pioneer, they did it those days. Now we don't have. But now on university campuses, you have NDC youth or student, tertiary something, MPP, tertiary. I ask myself, where do the Christian youth go? And that is why I mention what is happening in Angola. Now, Angola Christian Council of Ghana, they have suffered. It's one of the countries that I showed to you. Angola has suffered from civil war to uh, uh, dictatorship of democracy. Now, what the church is doing is now youth politics church they are mobilizing young people and teaching, you know, who is neighbor sound leadership what we need in governance traditionally not necessarily because you are a member of parliament or president but deliberately the angola church is discussing issues about good governance democracy among young people in the church hoping that the next 20 years when this cream of people are no more, the church will also groom people with Christian understanding of society, of leadership, of governance. I pray and hope that we have such a thing in our church life and nurture Christian education program. Not doing purely politics, but leadership principles governance principles, managing uh, our resources, and, you know, kind of club that 
how we are preparing people who are interested. Who knows? 20 years to come, PCG may produce the next president, vice president and, and of Ghana. Who knows that we will produce many more regional ministers for Eastern region. Have you noticed that now, I know my good friend Muslims are there, but many, many MPs, Alaji, Hajia, have you observed something? Judges, what are you doing? We'll talk about this another time. But a brother from uh, a cropon to me, and I will say the same thing. The church is too strong. We have the numbers. But let us also revisit. And as we celebrate this hundred years, let us revisit our nurturing system, our nurturing, our Christian education. You see, please, Monte Masio, me a scripture union, me a president, me to be a deal, me say you. And was on me so, as my member came, Munti, and you'll be as open you as I mean say, me as you traveling secretary pain, as you national council, myself, or me a Bible study and prayer group, Bible study and prayer group convention, Nina, but a Christo, some, a yanchi bun, some, yanchi by four, yes, to dim, yet two big, says, stay. Yen sorry, obia ya obia ya prophet. Obia pete anointing oil. Nanza so fansa gu tip so fansa gu bo fansa ye dende. Enti mushe yen sorry mu se se ya. Ma mi bisi o siya bonsam no osu. Bonsam adan no osu wase kwa so demo. Bibia omo se ya mia. Ma mi ya se mo ke mi ni mo ofe. A sorry e ya ya bonsam bonsam be ye be ye doto. And I'm saying, we have more beyond what can say, opening our sight, men say. But we need a balance. We need. When I'm in your view, oh, see, Papa, we want to go find a bar. How? More moments, send us open yourself and say, yeah. But I'm switching to the region and I'm so for your darcy.